Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Ahaya, everybody. Praise Ahaya, one more time. See the camera. Praise Ahaya, from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. Amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in Yeshaya the Christ, Yeshaya the Messiah, Yeshaya of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God Ahaya and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshaya, um, I've done a video about it already. Check the description box in the pink comment section. All right, just a quick bit of housekeeping, brothers and sisters. Like I said, I always say you can skip this bit if you want, honestly. Um, Remember when I make a comment, my name is in solid gray border. All right, sister Carrie in solid gray border. Anybody else that's pretending to be me is a dirty demon. You need to report and we need to rebuke and report them. Okay, all right. Okay, brothers and sisters, continue to like the videos. Honestly, continue to like them. What is it? Like, comment. Is it like, comment and watch? It's doing something. I can tell you because I do check me so-called analytics you know, on Dirty you, you, so I can see the difference, since I've been telling brothers and sisters, and I never used to do that before, I, used to, I never used to tell brothers and sisters to share the video, watch them, and I never, but since January 2022, I said, no, I'm going to explain to you eventually what I saw, with what, what that you, you did to me, and the, the monitor this channel, I know that, but thank you, continue to like all my videos, not my videos, our videos, share them, and do your thing all right okay brothers and sisters mm, i'm a little bit disappointed with the top 20. it's not your fault it's all me yesterday underneath the video which video is it underneath the video called co um concerning oh my god concerning dirty hollywood all right how they do things in movies you know how they do things in movies and hidden it in plain sight um and it was concerning dead willies right dead willies um i had my book in my hands i had the top 20 ready to do but I, something happened and i got distracted i got distracted brothers and sisters and i i just couldn't get to write down my top 20 and right now i don't know Underneath that video called Hollywood, I have no idea who's me. If I do the top 20 now, it would be random. Because normally when I do the top 20, I always send a little message. Two little hearts and shout out coming. I always put two hearts and put shout out coming. And I don't think anybody underneath that video concerning Hollywood got a message from me. Because I went to check and I don't... I haven't seen it so I can't randomly pick 20 people that <laughs> so everybody well done all right I'm so sorry about that brothers and sisters I literally had my pencil and my book the phone was open I was ready to write my top 20 down and then the destruction came and then I just yeah it just it just didn't happen so I do apologize so no top 20 for this video today so anybody that make it you know who you are thank you so much and keep up keep up the good work it's to strengthen your spirit to let you be vigilant to let you be sober to let you be alert all right and it is working it is working brothers and sisters all right brothers and sisters we want to, we are continuing with our theme banner we are near we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful beautiful messiah yes haya, hallelujah whom the world called jesus christ of nazareth we're not only near to his return but we're near to the revealing of the antichrist the lawlessness of sin brothers and sisters this stuff is coming i'm telling you you have to gear up you have to buckle up because it is coming through and through all right we also have a prophetic theme song all right um it goes hand in hand with the prophetic banner we are near and the prophetic theme, prophetic theme song is also called we are near all right um and the song goes like this it's a song that my mommy taught me when i was a little girl she's a hide sweet and what have you i don't know nothing about new year's eve songs so don't come in the comment section and say oh sister karen you're singing new year's eve so i don't know this is a song that my mom taught me it's a kiddie song in my head but i'm turning it around for um the end times we are near all right the songs go like the song <laughs> the song go like this Oh, there you are, oh, there you are, oh, there you are, oh, there, oh, there you are, oh, there you are, oh, there you are, oh, 
near. Hallelujah. Yes, we are near and we can sing that song with what? With confidence. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, right. I should have bring my iPad down. I should have bring it down to, to quote the scripture. But there's something that is brewing. And I believe that once it's going to happen in Babylon, UK, it's going to be all over the world, really and truly. I don't know what at what point this is going to happen. Is it before the Exodus? Is it after the second Exodus? But either way, it will happen. All right. I had a vision where I saw Boris Johnson, the UK, the UK leader. All right. And... He came up to me at some books, some papers, some books, some stuff in his hand. And he was going to a meeting. It's like he was rushing to a meeting. And we're coming in the opposite direction. And he saw me. And he called my name. In the vision, the man called my name, Carrie Ann. And he said in the lines of, um, I'm just paraphrasing what he said in the vision. And he said this in the vision to me in the lines of, he said to me, um, you know that you have to get ready because we are about to um, release a lot of people out of the UK. We're going to send them back home. So when he said that to me, it's like, I said, I said not so much word, but I kind of said, but I'm a UK citizen, you know. But I said it in a different way in the vision. I didn't come out and say, I'm, I don't know how I said it, but it's just something in the lines of that. I said, <clears throat> but I'm a UK, I'm a British citizen. I've got, a, I've got a UK passport and stuff like that. And he said, that doesn't matter. He said, that don't matter. Um, they're gearing up to send people who are not English back to where they come from and he walked off there's a few things that he said to me in the vision but um i'm going to reserve that he said something else to me but i'm going to i'm going i'm going to keep that that boris said to me but i'm going to keep that in my spirit all right brothers and sisters the vision ended because it was very very short it, it went away and I uh, went to his meeting wherever he was going to. The vision is true. The vision is absolutely true. And those of you who think that you're comfortable, I don't know about Babylon, U US, they might come with the same thing. Because there's going to come a time, even though you show your passport, it's not going to work. They're just going to tell you to go. Because you were literally... I don't know how they're gonna do it because I've got kids that born here, but I suppose they'll, they may base it off their parents. So, like me, who is a Jamaican by birth, but yet I have three children who were born in the UK. I don't think that's gonna matter. I think they're probably how they're gonna do this stuff. I'm not sure how they're gonna do it. Is that it's based off your parents, really? There you go. But um, in 2003, I want you to listen to me very carefully because I'm going to release a piece of information to you. I'm so warm. Father, I'm so warm. Oh, my God. All right. In 2003, when I was looking, I didn't have my stay in the UK. All right. I had a work permit at the time, but I didn't have my stay. All right. Like my British passport and this and that and could travel. But when I was looking about to get my British passport and to get my indefinite leave, they call it, to stay in the UK and then you have to pay homage to the Queen. Oh, you got to go through so many stuff, brothers and sisters. You got to go to the stake to play, to, 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 to swear on the Queen. Mm -hmm. To swear on the Queen. And I don't think English people have to do that. But those of us who want to stay in the UK, in Babylon, you have to swear, do a little ceremony 
and do a little swearing of swearing the oh so it's so wicked it's so wicked oh god father god forgive me but anyways but when I was looking after my British passport to get my stay in this country, I remember the solicitor that I had. This was 2003. This is, 20, this is 2003. And I remember the solicitor said to me, he said, there's going to come a time when your passport will not matter. So I said to him, what do you mean? Because, you know, I thought you, you get your British passport, you're part of the gang. You're, you're Brit, you know, you're, you, you're part of the queen and all of that and you're British and all of that. And he said, no. He said, the time is coming where the government is going to kick you out. I couldn't believe it, brothers and sisters. But I took it with a pinch of salt. That was 2003, 18 years ago. Come on, son, he was born in 2003. Uh, how old is he? He's 18. He's going to be 19 this year. So really, technically, 19 years ago. This solicitor guy, because he was looking after me, papers. But he knew. He said, it's not going to matter. He said, the time is coming when your British passport will not matter. They're going to tell you to go home. I don't know if this is going to be before the exodus or after the exodus. So those of you who are from a different place don't get too comfortable i would say make sure you can build a little home wherever you're from whatever money you're making send it and, and get somewhere build something because this thing is truth now in the past couple of weeks or so i've heard about it it's back up in the forefront and it's in i don't know if they put it in the news but it's back up in the forefront that the pharaohs um that any minute now the government the, the what's it any minute now the pharaohs can send their people and knock on your door and said look we're giving you two weeks you've got to leave the country and it's something that they've done and it's in law apparently but i wasn't surprised because because i knew about it from 2003 2003 and now we're in 2022 and when the solicitor guy said it to me i didn't i, I think because i wanted me stay so bad it was like oh whatever didn't matter i just it was in the back of my mind but like you know, brush it off and now we're in 2022 and the lord gave me the vision in january 2022 and it was boris himself it wasn't like he sent somebody. It was the prime minister himself in the vision that spoke to me and told me, you're going home. British passport don't matter. So prepare yourself. Now, I don't know if this is going to happen anywhere else in, like I said, Babylon, USA. I have no idea. I have no idea, cannot speak for it because I don't know about the Lord, but I know, I know for certainty in Babylon, UK, this is what they're planning and they're not hiding it. They're not hiding it, brothers and sisters. You get cracking, get building. I don't know, some of us don't have the money and stuff like that, but yeah, it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a lot of uproar. And I don't know how they're going to do it because if, if, say for instance, I don't know, let's use a black, black people, black person. If you are black British and your parents, your mom and your dad are black British and your grandparents are black British, how is it going to work? But your, so, so, so if your great, great, great grand or say they're from Africa, but your great grand had children who are born in Britain, then they have children born in Britain, then they have children born in Britain, then you are here. That's one, that's about four generations. So I don't know if they're going to send home up to the four generation or they're just going to look, okay, that's you, you're, you're British, but your parents are from the Caribbean, so you're going home. I don't know. If that's what they're going to do, if they're going to, then they're just going to stop it at the first generation. 
you know they know they've got a plan but the vision is true the, vi the vision is true i had it the, 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 it's a solicitor that told me from 2003 i know i'm repeating myself but i have to 23 2003 and yeah the good old bojo told me i have to go home <laughs> you have to go home he said he called my name in the vision he literally called my name i was shocked and i just imagine how he speak you know how bojo speaks you know <laughs> Uh, and yes, and um, and you, you you've got to go home, Kerry. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what I mean? All oh, these people. This is not our home, brothers and sisters. Listen, we're going over yonder soon. Don't you worry yourself. But I don't know if this thing is gonna be before the second exodus or after. So if they come and knock on my door. If they come and knock on my door, because you know I do a lot of videos, isn't it? I do a lot of rebuking. So I know. I know I am on the, what you call it, the radar. I'm not, I'm not stupid. I know. That's part of the vision I don't want to talk about, but I know I'm on the radar. So if they come and they do the knocking and what have you and says, Carrie Ann, I'm sorry, you know, but um, the time is up. You've got to go. You've got to go home. With pleasure, I'll go. Cause they, they, they can't stop me from doing my ministry, anyways. Wherever I am, as long as there is, what view. And you know what? And sometimes it's good to go to your own country to help your own people. Anyways, you know it's good to go and because they they are they're spiritually dead as well. So whatever the Lord is planning, I just pray. And I just leave everything in the hands of the Most High. But I do know that if I do go, if they do come to me and say, that's it, knock, knock, we're giving you two weeks to go, they're going to say, take your kids with you. Because they're not going to, they will. They will. They'll say, take your, take, take your, take them. It's a new law, apparently. I don't know how they're so wicked. I don't know how they conjure up this stuff. Like, How? Isn't it going against human right business, this human right? But the, the, the country, oh, brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, apparently it's there already. It's there in one of their clauses. It's there. They've done it. It's signed. It's because of the you-know-what and that's going on. So it's kind of hidden underneath the, 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 the bushel. It's kind of hidden underneath the carpet. But it's done. They've done it. So now, especially those of us who have not had that, <laughs> all of us, they're cleaning up Britain, isn't it? That's what they're doing. They're cleaning up too much people in Britain. They're cleaning, they're cleaning the place up. Mm. Part of the plan. But Ahaya is in control, so we're not worried. But I just wanted to come and, um, oops, geez, I just wanted to come and tell you. I so beg your pardon, brothers and sisters. I just wanted to come and just tell you what the devil is planning. The, the, the de what did they, what did they say? The, 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 the devil's in the, the devil is in the details, something like that. I don't know. Some saying the the, the devil's is, the devil is in <laughs> the devil is in the details. Yeah, because he wrote it. He wrote the policies and documents. So of, of course he's gonna be in it. Of course. Oh, we've got to laugh, brothers and sisters. These things must be. There's a scripture that my mom always said to me when we were talking, and she always said, "You know, I, there's gonna come a time when they're gonna tell everybody to find their own country." And I think it's in Jeremiah, where the Bible talks about. I said Jeremiah, where the Bible talks about that every man will find their own country. Their own country. So. Yeah, yeah, brothers and sisters. <laughs> okay, so be bold, be strong, be courageous. 
walk with a higher just like Enoch all praises all beautiful praises to the most high a higher who lives above the heavens a high eternally bless you I love you all and I will see you soon someday in glory in yes high is holy name amen and amen let's say the benediction together the benediction is Jude chapter 1 Jude chapter 1 verses 24 to 25 the Bible reads now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise, yes, higher, hallelujah, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings.